In October 2019, at the International Balloon Fiesta Rally, we asked a few families who have been traveling full time their experiences with living on the road. Tell us a little about your family. There are four of us. Um, we have two daughters that are 12 and 6. They are 7, 9, and 12. Well, one of them is about to turn 10. I've been told to round up to 10. Uh, she t she's telling everybody she's 10. <laughs> yeah. It's the end of the, yeah, it's the Might as well, she had a rally birthday, right? Yeah, so it counts. Yeah, might as well be 10. For a family of four, uh, a 15 year old girl, nine year old boy, and um, 25 year old wife. <laughs> How long have you been on the road? We've been on the road for about 15 months, okay. um, and we launched from North Carolina. We've been on the road for, uh, we just had our anniversary uh, a month ago, so a year and a month. Well, we've been on the road for three years this October. So that yeah, was... celebrating next week, three yeah. years. Yeah, and so we, we launched you know, October three years ago and just kind of skirted around for three months and then found a full-time families rally. and. From there, just kind of only camped alone when we wanted to. What kind of RV do you live in? We have a, a Tiffin 38 foot gas coach with bunks. Uh, yeah. We are in a 2010 Jayco Eagle fifth wheel. For the last three years, though, we've been in a travel trailer. We've been in a 29 foot travel trailer, and we just decided to just change just because we like change that's why we do this lifestyle so we just upgraded i say upgraded upgraded for us to a fifth wheel that is 34 feet so we added a little length we are in a 40 foot fifth wheel it's a mid bunk um girls in the bunk of course and then we uh got that because we really enjoyed the living space in the back to be it's together a, it's a sabre not a saber sabre <laughs> What is your favorite way to camp? We've really fallen in love with boondocking. Yeah. We seem to find the most amazing views and the most amazing places when we're boondocking. Yeah, I mean, we like the commodities of the full hookups and like the electronics to be able to upgrade the RV fully, but we enjoy being able to be off-grid. It's the only way to get the best views. For sure boondocking. Yeah. But I mean after being here for seven days, some full hookups in that shower is gonna be amazing. <laughs> hey, I like full hookups, I'm not gonna lie. That's nice. But wherever there's community, that's usually pretty fun for us. I would say I like variety. It really boils down to the community and that's been the cool thing with full-time families is that we've got the boondockers, well, you know, the boondocking tribe, and then we've got so many families that do thousand trails and then people that love the state parks and we love all three so it really helps to know that we can kind of find family and connect no matter what type of camping we're doing. Favorite places you've traveled? So we really liked Maine, yeah. really liked Moab and Utah, but Western South Dakota, like South Dakota, who knew? Yeah, Black, the Black Hills are amazing. It's one of the few places we've actually extended our stay. And could have stayed longer. Yeah. yeah. Alaska. Alaska. I think there was a wildness to it, maybe a freedom that you had that, you know, um, it wasn't developed. There wasn't a strip mall every five it's miles. It's a reality factor to it where it just really, I don't know, uh, the entire place to me felt like it was completely alive. The animals, when you least suspect it, you had some sort of a wild life just running in front of your eyes. And it, was just, it was untamed. Yeah, everywhere you turned, it was just a whole other world. Utah Hands is down. just another planet. And you can't make a wrong turn without finding something exciting. There's lots of free camping, and there's lots of expensive camping, whichever one you want. And it's a cool place. What about you? Uh, yeah, I, there, I can pick so many places I absolutely love, but if I have to narrow it down to one state that has the most variety of things that we absolutely love, it would be Utah. And I would say, you know, the out west has just been really fun because it's a different experience for us southeasterners to live in the in the west and experience just the epic hugeness of it all. But when it gets cold, we go to Florida. We go to Florida. <laughs> what do you love about full-time RV living? Honestly, for, for, for me, it's the community. I mean, we have lived the 
you know, in our married life, we've lived in three different neighborhoods, not including this. And we have experienced the most camaraderie, the biggest community out here on the road, you know, at these events that we go to. I mean, that, for me, that it's the community. I mean, we see some amazing places, but you could do that on vacation. The freedom the, of finding, finding what you're looking for. So, you know, I think that full-time families, or really just full-time in general, we bump into a lot of different people on the road, and then, you know, I used to say we were within three steps back in the city of each other, but now here we see, I feel like we're like within two. So, uh, but there seems like there's, there's a lot to do for every age and every angle, and so you have the option to choose which way to move and which way not, and so you go searching for what your needs are, and then it hopes to get it, and if you don't like it, you turn around and leave. I would say the variety is really nice. You have, you have an option, a constant option for change if you choose. And so it's nice to always know that there's an option. And so if, you know, if things aren't going your way or the weather's bad, then you can roll out, you don't feel stuck. And that was a big change for me. And when we were thinking about not waiting for one day, we looked at kind of what were the feelings behind it? What did we want to do and why did we want to do it? And some of the words that came out was that we love to travel because of that feeling of awe, of being in the present moment because you're exploring new things together and when you see something new for the first time, you really stop and soak it in. And so this lifestyle has really allowed us to be more present in the moment as we embrace the new together and we learn and grow together. So that's been so much fun. Freedom. Yes. If we don't like someplace, we can get up and leave or stay longer. Yeah, I don't have to mow my grass. <laughs> so definitely it, it enables us to see things that we never would have. And, you know, everybody talks about waiting till retirement, but I wanted to be able to, us to be able to experience this together as a family and be able to do it while we still could. Awesome. Expectations versus reality of full-time RV living. When we first started, my thought was, oh, this will be something perfect that we can bounce to and then bounce back to family or work events, and we could bounce around. And so our first year was a little bit more chaotic of, well, we have to go see this family member and we have to go do this event and everything was so jam-packed and scheduled and as we have gone through this and we've experienced the different types of camping and boondocking that don't necessarily require a reservation we have chilled out a lot and we recognize that um, we love this lifestyle so we don't feel like we have to take everything in at a, at a destination but we can pace ourselves and we have really learned through the process that it's very important to allow for down days and for serendipity days because we come to some place like a rally and all of a sudden we're changing our plans to go and connect with other friends and it's a lot easier to do that when we don't have every single moment planned so allowing for a little bit of the flexibility and the free Freedom was something that I think we learned as we kind of loosened up in this process. Want to learn more? Check out FullTimeFamilies.com. Make sure to join our public Facebook group. We can't wait to see you on the road.